right. Hey, everybody. It's Petra with The Rebel Stand. And with me today, I have Crush Karma. It's so excited to connect with you guys. Absolutely. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> so give us, for well, some of us who don't actually really know who you are, um, a little bit of history about how you guys came about. Go for it, German. <laughs> well, they call us the Bonnie and Clyde from hell. No, actually, the white stripes of metal. I play a guitar, a mean guitar and a bass. And when I found this crazy girl drum over here, I thought we have to take over the world just as a two piece and show the metal world how it's done with just two people. Right. I like that. It's because it's different, right? Because normally you see four or five, six mm -hmm. people. Um, and so the duo it was just a duo. Of, um, well, exactly. it makes you stand out. And yeah. Usually it's always like indie rock bands who just have a guitar who's just like playing the riffs. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we are metal kids and I always feel like this needs to be done in a metal fashion. But then I also have the bass missing. So I'm playing guitar and bass as well. So I built this crazy guitar bass hybrid. So I play two instruments at the same time, basically, with a lot of pedals and stuff. Yeah. I what? read about that. I was like, that's really, really cool to get really innovative with how you guys can, um, you know, make the music. Well, it makes our, our sound so full and you wouldn't know it that we're only a two piece. Just by, if you just hear us, you would think it's a full band and then you see it live and he's actually doing all this stuff live. And uh, we both sing. So we have a lot of freedom to be creative. And it's just a, it's a yeah. really fun, um, fun thing to be a duo because you're very free and open to do whatever you want without a bunch of voices trying to chime in and <laughs> yeah it keeps the conflict a little makes it a little, a little less that's for sure <laughs> but you truly get the vision only if you see us playing live yeah because that's sure. what separates us from the other bands and that's again i can only do this with her that's yeah. a crazy yeah. who jumps mid song <laughs> over the drum kit with a gigantic hammer and smashes the whole oh, I thing. I saw the video and I was like, what is up? Like, that was. <laughs> yeah, we right. have a fun. <laughs> but that's the point, right? Like, you get to follow your passion work, do the thing yeah. that you're, I guess, here to do on this earth and, and have fun doing it. So that's. Absolutely. You're doing, you're doing it right, is what I would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What are the inspiration behind the music? Um, what the songs like? What feels those songs? Well, I mean, as far as like our styles, we both come from diverse styles of different metal, punk, rock. You know, all of us. Um, I also grew up on. I grew up on the East Coast, so um, metal, also hip hop, um, funk. My parents were very big into like classic rock and stuff. So I got into a lot of different things at a very young age. And appreciation for music has always been. Yeah in my heart and soul and um he came from more of like a metal kind of background in germany and grew up in europe so that's where i'm from dude oh nice really where oh, that's what's up wie geht's wie steht's where do you come from in germany bad homburg bad homburg yeah, awesome. Frankfurt being, everybody knows where Frankfurt is. Nobody knows where Bad Hamburg is. So. <laughs> Bad Hamburg, I know. Oh, you know it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> awesome. Cool. I, I heard the accent, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is really cool because we grew up in different places. So yes. we have um, a lot of similar styles, but also a lot of different things that that um, we just grew up in different ways. And we appreciate things differently. And different music comes to you guys that comes to yeah, us. And sure. uh it's just been I, really cool. <laughs> I, I tell a lot of people that Germany and Europe in general, the, the heavy metal music is way bigger than any American could ever imagine. Like they totally. don't understand. <laughs> totally. Like it's really, really big. And people are like, Rammstein. I'm like, no, I'm not even talking Rammstein. Like it goes way back. Yeah, right? way, like, way back. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up listening to Sodom, right? Like that's people are like what <laughs> what <laughs> outbreak of evil kill all <laughs> <laughs> but yes yeah, so again what inspires the songs like give me a little bit of like what's your inspiration for your music in general well, like the day day to day life you know if yeah. you to our music now it's very current because we always talk about the end of the world <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have a lot of doom and gloom which we didn't do on purpose but it's totally fitting yeah <laughs> you're ahead of the time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, but we do we do a lot of current stuff i mean it's it's 
political undertones, but we never oh. try to like force our opinion on people. But you cannot help yeah. to see what's in your heart in your music. And when you're, you know, that's it's just something that we live with every day. And if you're unhappy with something, it tends to come out in your yeah. music, you know. And uh, so you, we that a lot of that comes out. It's it's a, a lot of on the darker side, but we're very happy and awesome um, people. Yeah, can... like, <laughs> like, we're very active and happy and have great lives. So it's like, it's, we're not very um, negative people. We have positive messages in all of our music, even though it might have a dark, darker undertone of, of a subject or something like that. Yeah, but, totally. I get that. I mean, I mean, you know, you can be happy 30 days out of 31 and then there's that one day where everything is shit. <laughs> totally. and you're like, oh, I need the song so I can get out of this. So I just kind of, um, feel that because that's what I find about heavy metal for me like I can feel right yeah. I'm not against any other genres don't get me wrong but heavy metal has been always and punk sort of it's been my go-to to just be expressive and allow myself to feel Absolutely. whatever it is I'm going through yeah so, and, and don't uh, discriminate against your feelings it's okay to have them yes nice yeah it's really really cool um so I know you guys are just a duo, but if you have conflict, how do you guys work through it? Because even partners and duos, they're going to have some kind of um, challenges sometimes. How do you guys work through them to get on the other side of that? Well, we don't talk for a day. <laughs> you, go over there. <laughs> and, and then we miss each other yeah. so much the next day that we have resolved the problem. Yeah. But, but also like if we're on the road or something like that and there's a conflict, um, I find that stage always clears up a conflict because no matter what, we're there for a goal. So when we get onto the stage, all problems dissipate and then you realize your purpose and you realize what we're here for and then it, it begins to naturally dissolve and realize that what we were fighting about wasn't worth fighting for at all or fighting about anyway. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I absolutely love that. No, but it, but it's really about like I tend to go to my room. Yeah. <laughs> like literally, yeah. like I mean my Space. room. Space. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when I'm ready, I'll be like, hey, let's talk. Hey. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I love that. Um, so one of the things I find, um, even in my case, as creators, artists, that kind of a thing, we get stuck or we get into, we wake up on the wrong foot or we're having this low of a time or we're facing a pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Right? I mean, let's, let's be real about where we are in this day and time. Um, and there's, you, for me, it's a choice to stay there or, or to not. Mm -hmm. And then I find what will get me out of that. How do you guys manage through that if you face that mm, what do you to, think what to get out of the hole to get out of a creative hole or like if you're like a stuck hole mm. like a dark mood like depression mm. mental health like anything you know because you can be sad and depressed even temporarily so anything that kind of sort of like well um, today it's yeah. Shit. Yeah. I, I, we always try the things that depress us to to use it as fuel to yeah. uh, to be creative like you know of course you you always sometimes have a you're stuck creatively but then you listen to, to bands you like and music mm -hmm. and that always inspires me and there's a bunch of things that inspires me people books yeah. movies and this one thing that i've found in life is the most important thing is find something that inspires you if you're mm -hmm. not inspired in life your life is basically over i feel so that's mm -hmm. like one of the one of the main secrets i think of life if you're not inspired your life is not worth anything to me yeah, yeah. I, so you, I you agree. Find those those things that inspire you, and always yeah. remember them to keep in the back of your head. Okay, here's like this box of inspiration that I can open, and luckily we always we never ran out of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, I also find like doing physical activity is really helpful for me, like a yoga yeah. or go for a run or do something that gets my energy flowing, and it just that kind of helps clear my mind and get me back into, oh, my space, who I am, and that things are fine. I'm healthy, I'm in a good place, and I should be thankful, and that helps me to already get out of that funk and move forward. Yeah, it also helps you get grounded, right? Like, for me, because yeah. I, I am a runner, so for me, that's getting grounded, and totally. I get the best ideas when I'm on a run. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. No, it, I think that's all, it's, it's a tricky um, um subject because you know metal music or rock music the it's the voice of angst it's the, the yeah. mm -hmm. and 
if you're truly happy, I don't think you can write this kind of music. <laughs> if, if you look well, at, you, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think truly happy is not the right way to say it, but you can you can you can see all things. You have some kind of something inner turmoil the, the that music. you're dealing with. Well, so. I also think becomes, if you don't have that, you're not human. Yeah, yes. exactly. Exactly. But, exactly. But the music comes from a dark place. Yeah. Inside. It's not for my, hey, I'm going to write a happy song. It's not, that's, <laughs> then, then I would do, do a different band. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, the what? I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> I, I'm not talking about self-sacrificing yourself, but you always know yeah. like you, you cut a piece out of your, in yourself to get the song out there. And yeah. It's, mm -hmm. and, it's, and at the end, it's very satisfying what you do, but it's, it's, it's like giving a little bit of blood. I would almost say. Mm. <laughs> no, but, but it's true. I mean, we, I know you guys, you think you're generally pretty happy, but you also recognize that not every day is a happy day. And that I think sure. I mean, that's where we find where we can probably write the best songs or the, for me, writing a blog post. It's like, oh. Yeah. But <laughs> let it out. I, the the yeah. thing is, yeah. the, but the reason it was we are happy, really happy people in normal life is because we find the balance. Mm -hmm. Yes. If he didn't How have do you music, do that? If, yeah. if he didn't have the music, we would be miserable. But yeah. that's, I always feel often like this, you know, if you feel comedians or funny people on the outside are very sad inside. Mm. So, so it's always, if you see people who are very dark on the outside, they're probably super happy people. And that's the thing why they... <laughs> no, is, if, if you meet people from the metal community, they're always pretty chill. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. not a lot of people take this stuff serious and burn down churches. Yeah, they're not so many. A small percentage. <laughs> most of well, them found their balance, and that's like their outlet. That's like their valve. That's how yeah. they. That's how they go through life. And, and, and I will agree with that. Like I've been around various genres of music, um, and I've found, and studies have shown that metalheads are the healthier version of people, <laughs> because yeah. it, we are expressing our feelings in that moment yeah. right through yeah. the music whether yeah. it's you guys writing it and me listening to it because mm -hmm. you might write something where i'm like oh this is exactly what i need to hear today to get through that moment exactly uh, yeah yeah exactly and i and i haven't found that with other genres you know what i mean like sure. pop, pop music to me is happy music it's like oh yeah everything's mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. <laughs> like go to the clubs and you know whatever it's like it's very, it's surface music. It's exactly. Yeah. And, and yeah. People, I like that you said that. And yeah. Those people don't find that valve. Those are really angry people sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And you look, listen to them. Like, Destructive dude, people. You, write, yeah. you really write light, funny music. How can you be so <laughs> dark and angry inside? And then you realize it's the balance. Mm -hmm. It is. It is truly a balance. I, I love how you bring that up. So it's finding that balance. And it seems like you guys are able to make that work. Really, really well. It's also it's yeah. also a therapy. We are able to scream mm. our heads off and get paid for it, <laughs> yeah. and that's our job. So once a day, I'm screaming my I head. I mean, off. living the dream, living yeah. the dream. I yeah. literally hate stuff from from my job. Yeah, it's, like <laughs> it's therapy. <basically. laughs> I love that. No, this is really really awesome um, to share. So um, I hope a lot of people tune in. If somebody's listening and they have this idea, whether it's to start a business, to write music, to start a band, to write a book, like whatever their dream is that they've been sort of mulling over, but they haven't acted on it. Yeah. What would be your advice right now to tell Get them? Get out in the cold, jump into the yeah. pool, do it now. Take the first step. Don't, yeah. you don't think about, I'm going to make it perfect, and when it's perfect, mm -hmm. I'm going to put it out. No. Yeah. Just do it. Do it now. Yeah. Uh, because things are going to change every day. And yeah. what you think is perfect today, is not perfect tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so it changes all the time. So in order, in all, it, the only way to get better at what you do is to put it out there. Yeah. Just, and to keep doing yeah. it. Don't be afraid and, of what people say or just do it anyway and be, be aware that it's not going to be exactly how you want it to be. It might not, it might take you years to find and hone in your craft, mm -hmm. you know, but that's the point. It's the journey. So you have yeah. to be in the journey to have a journey. You know? yeah. yeah, I love that. I, I, sometimes I've been interviewed some other bands and they're like, yeah, I started playing guitar to get the girls and be in a band and a girl. <laughs> That's and why I, I started playing. <laughs> and I was, I never had that idea because if I want to get girls, I definitely would be in a different band and would play different music. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, for me, it's like, okay, no one's going to like this. Fuck it, but it made me happy. Yeah. So I never yeah. had the girl to, to get, to 
That, that's the main reason. I think if you try to, to people to like you, mm -hmm. that's the only reason. Don't do it. Yeah, it's the wrong reason. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I agree. Just, I mean, it, it always seems the bigger you get, the more haters you get. Mm -hmm. So you always have to focus on the positive things. So it yeah. feels like more and more people hate you, even though you get more successful. So yeah. when you have to blend all this mm -hmm. out, it's like, if it doesn't make you happy, do something else. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, you're right. The, the more public you become, the more haters you get, the more people think on how you should live your life. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. like Everyone has an opinion all of a sudden. You know? <laughs> you know uh, I'm thinking of a specific band and they've been writing political songs their entire existence and people are like, you shouldn't use your platform. I'm like, that's literally their point is the black yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Totally. Finale. laughs> yeah i really i don't really understand that whole thing is art should just be art it's like what do you think art comes from is yeah. is society and this is a part of what we go through uh, as human existence how are we not going to have a voice about these things Maybe. yeah right exactly i've always thought that was a little um like really because that's really the point of what they're doing yeah um, just a job <laughs> to bring attention and awareness with whatever your purpose message is, right? Like every band, every musician has a different message. Absolutely. Uh, you just got to figure that one out. Um, so I know we're in the middle of a pandemic and shows are being sort of canceled. We're hoping Metal in the Mountains in June will not be canceled. Yeah. Let's cross our fingers and all the toes and stuff. <laughs> but that's where got, the guys can see you. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, while we're going through this, how can people support you? And the, the, best, the best way is um, if you want to buy our music, buy any merchandise or just watch our videos, talk with us online. You know, we're very present, present online. Um, our website is uh, Crash Karma with a K dot com. And basically um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. It's just that slash crash karma with a k find yeah. us on spotify stream yeah. all of it stream us on spotify that's helpful put us on all your playlists you know just spread the yeah. word you know and just let's be a community be in touch talk with us and that's all we can do is continue to help one another grow and yeah you know, stay in touch during these times well guys thank you so much for making the time and um, having this conversation for me and having a fellow <laughs> homeland person <laughs> From Deutschland. Deutschland. No, no. <laughs> so, so you're into punk rock too? Uh, yeah, I grew up on the Aston, the Totenhosen, and the Sex Pistols. Oh, I play in a German punk rock band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also playing in a German punk rock band. I'm not sure if you yeah. know. This. No. They're called Wieso. Wieso? Wieso. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I send you the link later. That sounds like a good idea. I will check it out. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. It's still sort of early-ish for you guys. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. just waking up, so. Yeah. <laughs>